on the Castro Theater marquee. Say hey, Willie Mays, San Francisco premiere. Packed house, panel discussion before a screening of the new HBO documentary available on HBO Tuesday. Barry Bonds was a part of this panel discussion and prominently appears in the project along with a man who spearheaded the project far left, director Nelson George. Nelson, I'm looking hard at the screen. I don't see any red in your eyes. But you, you must have told yourself sleep was overrated in this huge, huge undertaking. It was a lot, and, and it was complicated by COVID, obviously. Once we got going, we had to really run. Um, he gave us a couple of great interviews uh, at his home in the Bay Area. And, you know, it was amazing, you know, to finally get there with him. And, um, you know, Willie has a reputation for being kind of a tough interview. And uh, he definitely he definitely put me through my paces. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, he, he definitely uh, treated me like a rookie pitcher uh, in those first few uh, first few conversations. But once he got comfortable and, and realized that I, I, I was OK, and, you know, uh, it was fine. But, yeah, you know, uh, Willie Mays is, the, is a dude. So you have to really, you know, get, get his respect to get in there. I realized I needed to really, you know, I needed to just treat him like my like he's, you know, my grand, my grandfather from Alabama. So, you know, you just had to relax and, and talk to him, not like an icon, but like, a, you know, like you would any elder at a, at a picnic. And once that happened, he rolled, he started rolling and he started giving it to me. And he loved that. <laughs> I think one thing about Willie Mays, man, is his hands. And, and when you see the bonus footage, you'll, you'll see me trying to hang in there with a Willie Mays handshake. His hands are massive, dude. He's got mitts. So one of his favorite things is to get young boys. I'm 65, but I'm a young boy to Willie, <laughs> you know? And when he, he got me in there, I, I, I was trying to hold on, man. But, you know, he was laughing at me. So he's a specimen, dude, even at 91 years old. I can tell you a quick story. Years ago, I, I just got into the market. So this was almost 33 years ago. I'm playing in a charity tournament, a Joe Montana charity tournament. And I'm taking my time, looking over the ball, kind of sizing up my shot. All of a sudden, the group behind me, somebody says, Hey, 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 Pee Wee! I turn around, look at it. Hit the ball! That was Willie Mays. That was my yep. introduction to number 24. And yep. from that point on, I could do no wrong. Yeah, he, he loves, I mean, you know, ultimately, he, the camaraderie of sport is what he loves. You know, even before COVID, you know, he was going to the ballpark, hanging out with the young ball players, the visiting ball players. That, that spirit of, of companionship that you get out of baseball or any sport, I think that's his lifeblood. And I think that's why he's managed to stay vital so many years. Well, this is what did it for me. I mean, I, I thought I knew everything about Mill, Willie Mays, but you had some jaw-dropping clips in there that I had never even seen before. I think one of the best things in there is we really were able to find uh, – people who played with Willie, there's a 95 year old minister in Birmingham, Alabama, Bill Greaston, uh, play, pitched for the Birmingham Black Barons, also actually ended up with one of the first black players in the St. Louis Cardinal system once they started letting brothers in there. And he was fantastic. And the ballpark that Willie played in as a black baron, is still there, man. It was built in 20, 1910. It's the oldest ballpark in the country. And to go back to Birmingham to the root of all of it, man, and, and to think that he came out of a very tough world, a very segregated world, and was able to change the planet in a, in a way through his talent is amazing. I can't believe some of the people that I just saw in there. I was just like, oh, holy smoke. He got Reggie Jackson. He got Bob Costas. He got Dr. Harry Edwards. You got Barry a little, a little choked up in this one. Yeah, man. Well, you know what? I got to say, you know, Barry has his reputation, whatever, right? Coming to talk to about Willie Mays, he was totally vulnerable, totally open. Uh, I think one of the biggest surprises of the doc will be when people see Barry on camera. I don't think they've seen this guy, uh, you know, this vulnerable and this open, uh, maybe ever. You know, it's, it's going to be major for a lot of people. I hope it's a game changer for him. Let me ask you this. When it was over, uh, did you take any time off? It was, a you know, trying to get that story right. And listen, we did 90 minutes. The, the man's life. There's, there's, there are, it's not everything that ever happened to Willie because his life was big. But we tried to hit the emotional ones and we tried to really hit this idea of, to me, you know, uh, it's, it's like a Field of Dreams type film and that it's, a lot of it is about fathers and sons, whether it's Willie and his father or Piper Davis who, who, who nurtured him and then Willie himself becoming the, the mentor to 
all the Latin players who played here in the 60s to Bobby Bonds and ultimately Barry. So I think that to me, that that's what gives it some weight, that it's not just a baseball movie, but it's about mentorship and about relationship and you know passing information down almost father to son. All right, well, let's this, end this by me saying, hey, like Willie Mays did 660 times, hey, you hit it right out of the park. Thanks so oh, thank much you. for bringing this to the audience. Uh, man, appreciate it so much. I'm glad people in the Bay Area, like yourself, are, are vibing it.